my gosh. Jesus, is this ever going to end? It is a lovely Monday night here in the end times. In the Point Lonesome Swamp, deep in the oasis of freedom. My God, how long have I been ranting for? This is my fourth <coughs> rant. It is now after 10 o'clock at night. I started ranting at 5 o'clock this afternoon. My, uh, my, uh, tripod has taken a crap. And God, I have started ranting about 5 o'clock and I've already had two Corona Panic rants. Uh, I'm sure a few of you will be happy to know I tested negative for Corona Panic today. I don't know what all this shit going on in my face and lungs and everything. Anyway, uh, and then I had to go a little bit crazy. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure Vegematic, my old, my old buddy Vegematic will forgive me. So uh, I love my brother. But anyway, before I got sidetracked on this whole uh, convoy for freedom up there in Canada, and for the record, obviously, I am cheering on the, the eco-Nazi, cheering on all of those 18 wheel uh, all those 18 wheeler driver truckers in Canada, yes, and, and eco Nazi cheering on truck drivers. There, <laughs> you just gotta love it. The original uh, Corona Panic uh, story that I was going to do was something to do with Canada. It was about this uh, clueless uh, fucking moron from Canada, some newspaper columnist, name doesn't mean anything to us down here, who came down here to vacation in Florida. He, uh, you know, after living with all of the various, you know, uh, lockdowns and government overreach, the lockdowns and the mandates and all of this crap that those uh, heroic truckers are saying they've had enough of that fucking bullshit in Canada, you know that, anyway, that place. And uh, so anyway, this uh, columnist came down here to vacation in the oasis of freedom and uh, wrote this comment that got all of a bunch of people's panties in a wad down here in uh, the oasis of freedom of Florida. So this was this fellow uh, from, where was this carpetbagger from? This was columnist Josh Freed in the Montreal Gazette. And so originally I was going to make this a major rant. I was going to read the column <clears throat> that he wrote in the Montreal Gazette and just, you know, go through it sentence by sentence to clarify the record. You know, I was just ranting uh, about Canadians, not knowing anything about Canadians. So this motherfucker comes down here not knowing anything about how we're living down here in the Oasis of Freedom, runs off at the mouth, uh, kind of like I just did, running off the mouth about something going on in Canada I don't know anything about. But anyway, so... But I just, I like this version and this story from Axios that, that looks at this and, and looks at a few choice quotes. And I'm going to make a, just a few comments. So we're going to take Axios' uh, digest version of this. So take it away, Axios. One Canadian's take on Florida's pandemic response. Now that you've heard of Floridian's take on Canada's uh, corona panic response, we're going to flip the coin here. <clears throat> A Canadian journalist who vacationed in Florida and then made fun of the Sunshine State has stirred up a social media hornet's nest of debates about individual liberty and government mandates. Alright, so, and then they just go through a few of the, the choice quotes from this carpetbagger, <clears throat> Josh Feed in the Montreal Gazette. 
Okay, quote number one, while Quebec is in full confinement mode, Florida is cowboy land where you barely know COVID is happening despite much higher new case and hospitalization rates than ours. And uh, so when this came out, as I've mentioned several times, I'm going to mention this one more time. I think it was the same day this column came out. Uh, it was, uh, you know, every week what they do, at least down here in the 50 states. Now, unfortunately, they don't include Canada as the 51st state, which we all know what fucking Canada is. It's the 51st state. You're all a bunch of uh, American wannabes. Admit it. You're fucking jealous as hell. Uh, anyway, but uh, what, it, what was being reported, I'm pretty sure it was the very same day that this uh, came out, was, you know, where they rate the new, uh, you know, the new case and hospitalization rates for the 50 states, Florida was placing number 37, you know, the 37th out of 50. Uh, so, in other words, 36 out of 50 states had a higher case and hospitalization rate than Florida, uh, while 12 states had a lower rate than Florida. Uh, so, if, uh, so one is bad and 50 is good and we were at 37. So I, I can't say whether uh, Canada would have been, you know what I'm saying, that Florida would have been number 38 and Canada would have been above Florida. You know what I'm saying. But my guess is, I'm just guessing, probably Florida had a lower rate or a very similar rate uh, than Canada. Just so you know, the, just a little inconvenient factoid that this, that this fucker Josh Freed had zero interest in sharing with his readers. <clears throat> About this quote, it is lunacy by Canadian standards but an eye-opening experience. There you go. We are lunatics by Canadian standards. I don't have to. I think, yeah, Vegematic uh, was thoroughly enjoying uh, pretty much lumping anybody, such as myself. He, he did use the word lunatic. Anybody uh, being against these mandates and lockdowns and government overreach we are lunatics. So that was a, a correct statement of Vegematic is a, you know, a regular Canadian. You know, the way we in the oasis of freedom are treating uh, Corona panic is lunacy by Canadian standards, but an eye-opening experience. So Axios, they always do the why it matters and the yes but. So Axios, why it matters. Set aside the knee-jerk politics. Set aside the knee-jerk politics. Good luck on setting aside the knee-jerk politics in any discussion about corona panic. Uh, and the column is an opportunity to see Florida culture as our northern neighbors see us. Yes, but how you feel about Florida's collective pandemic will... Blah, blah, blah. How you feel about Florida's collective pandemic response will determine how you feel about his column. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Uh, this is, you, you know, the preaching to the choir. There is not a fucking thing that either side at this point is going to say to the other side. Okay? You fucking get it or you fucking don't.
and by getting it, uh, meaning you fucking understand uh, that these fucking mandates and lockdowns and all of this shit are a direct assault on our civil liberties and our freedoms or you don't. You fucking get it or you don't. If you're some uh, whatever little fucking panic sheeple slave up there in fucking Canada or wherever else and you just don't fucking get it because you're so fucking afraid of dying by this thing uh, anyway. Uh, okay, but let's get down to the review of the column. <clears throat> to vacation here from Montreal where thousands have protested against strict government mandates and then it links you over to you know talking about there are a shitload of Canadians probably talking about that uh, convoy for freedom and all this. So they link you over uh, to anyone who thinks that Canada uh, is that different from Florida. There are plenty of fucking people, such as Deb Ozarko, who, who fucking get it. Uh, to vacation here from Montreal, where thousands have protested strict government mandates, like such as a curfew, is to arrive on what Freed calls another planet. Yes, quoting the uh, quoting the article, and of course this is where I'm going to have to break in. Quoting this Canadian mainstream media column. You know, this is the mainstream media that I'm assuming Vegematic loves to quote. Now, that Vegematic is a new big fan of the mainstream media. Anyway, <clears throat> quote, by any measure Florida life seems surreal as if everyone is wearing blinders and trying not to notice a disease that has killed more than 63,000 Floridians. That is about twice as many deaths as in all of Canada in a state with two-thirds of our country's population. Okay, here we go again. Alright, we go over to a uh, percentage calculator and we go through, I've done this with Florida before, we're going to do it again and then we're going to go over to percentage calculator and translate what twice as many deaths in Canada in a state with two-thirds of our country's population, what is the comparison? Here we go again. So uh, I'm just going to get to the numbers because uh, now my computer battery is dying. In Florida, since day one, at this point, as of two days ago, 0.293% of Floridians have died of Corona panic. Uh, we're going to call it 0 0.3, so that means 99.7% of Floridians have not died of Corona panic. And then we go to Canada and we crunch their numbers. And we find, again, if you want to believe the statistics, and for the sake of this, I am going to believe this without getting into the, de the definition of the word of and with and all of that pesky uh, little, you know, little details. And we find that as of two days ago, 0 0.0885, so we'll call it 0.01% of Canadians have died of corona panic since day one, which is another way if 0.01% uh, no, I'm sorry, that would be 0.1%. Okay, so in Canada, you, you know, that has all of these fucking uh, mandates, lockdowns, curfews, all of this shit, okay, 
0.1% of, so 99.9% of Canadians have not died of corona panic. Some people might use this as a as evidence to say maybe the uh, all of these lockdowns and mandates are too strict, but of course the other side would would credit all of this uh, heavy handedness uh, as the reason only. 0.1%. So you see you can play either side of the fence, whichever side you're on. So that is a true statement. Actually, according to this, and, and, I, and I will agree with it, that three times as many people, three times as many Floridians have died of corona panic or with corona panic, whichever pesky word you want to use, Three times as many people in Florida, which is another way of saying 99.7% uh, of people. That, that, that's two ways of saying the same thing. 99.7% of people not dying of corona panic is another way of saying that three times the, the number of people uh, have died than in a place where uh, where 99.9 percent. It's a difference of 99.7 and 99.9. Okay, Josh Freed, if he had gone on the fucking percentage calculator, so you're looking at two opposite ends of the spectrum, and then of course. He never questions why that may be. It could be that 20, about, I, I checked this out, that uh, about 22% of the population of Florida is over 65 years old, while approximately 15.6% of Canadians are over 65 years old. And I'm going to take a wild guess just looking at my fellow Floridians that the obesity rate of Floridians is a hell of a lot higher than that of Canadians. I don't know. I've never, I haven't spent that much time in Canada looking at fat, clueless morons. Okay, so if, you know, these are little, just little hunches that I, that, that who knows could explain this, but it probably has more to do with the difference between the definition of the words of and with. But getting back to Axios. Freed was shocked that our packed stores and restaurants do not require masks and that some servers and clerks wear masks under their chin, what Freed calls Florida style. I love all the Florida styles. I like the over the ear where the uh, mask dangles off of one ear. We have the under the chinners. We have the dangling. We have the ear danglers. That's my favorite one of uh, the Florida style uh, mask wearing. Uh, of course, uh, some of us have never put on a mask in uh, at least the past three months. Uh, Freed was shocked that some servers and clerks wear masks under their chins, Florida style. We, meaning here in the Oasis of Freedom, we gather for games, movies, drinks, etc. Our news media does not focus non-stop on COVID and neither do our social interactions. 
Uh, we actually have something other to do with our lives. You would never tell it here on Monday. Uh, in Florida, you can go. It's unbelievable. Uh, it, it, it's so uh, 2019 in Florida. We're going a lot, our, our, you know, a lot about our lives. Our news media does not focus non-stop on corona panic and neither do our social interactions. So quoting the uh, article again, quoting Freed, in Florida, entire conversations happen without the C word mentioned. Yes, imagine that having an entire conversation without mentioning the single biggest distraction in the history of humanity, preferably having the conversation in a packed restaurant, a packed bar, uh, a, a music venue where you can actually get together with tablefuls uh, of unmasked uh, friends of yours. Uh, and talk about something other uh, than the single biggest distraction in, in the history of humanity. Uh, the bottom line, according to Axios, is there is uh, what he calls a psychological upside there is a psychological upside in Florida that Freed found appealing. Quoting Jonathan Freed, We Montrealers live in a tense, depressing, pandemic bubble all COVID, all the time, which is why Many people avoid following the news. Close quote. <coughs> Between the lines, as Freed points out, thousands of people from Quebec have considered moving to Florida. There you go, and I will not mention any names of a, uh, of a Canadian that I know uh, expressed a, uh, a, 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 a very strange interest that I, uh, in moving to Florida. I have heard from a Canadian in the past few days expressing an interest that they're so fucking fed up with it. That they are uh, I, like like there's ham bone down there, and uh, <clears throat> yes, I did take a Corona panic test today, and uh, here I am uh, somehow miraculously. How the hell did, has does ham bone test negative for Corona panic? What is it about that guy? Never put on a mask since the day I got down here. Uh, you can decide for yourself whether or not I have taken the jab. Take a wild guess. Uh, like Ron DeSantis, I'm going to let you figure that out for yourself. Uh, I have been hanging out uh, all winter in packed restaurants, packed bars, uh, grocery stores, laundromats, going about my fucking life. Uh, having guests over, uh, visiting friends, not counting my brother, uh, who I you know who I'm not allowed to speak. It, it is uh, it is another fucking day on the planet here in the oasis of freedom. And any Canadian who wants to come hang out down here in the oasis of freedom, I should be here. Till, uh, about April. I would absolutely love uh, any Canadian friend of mine who is sick and tired uh, of this and, uh, and, and doesn't need a convoy of freedom. Uh, just come down here and live your fucking life. 
Anyway, that's gonna wrap up my third and final uh, Corona Panic uh, Chronicle of the day, of the week, from uh, the Oasis of Freedom. And uh, assuming I still have a channel, uh, we will come back to Corona Panic uh, next Monday and we will figure out what the hell we're going to talk about between now and then. But I got to go to bed. I've had a long uh, Monday of ranting about Corona Panic and, I f and I'm not feeling that great. Uh, so I have to go sleep off this fucking cold or whatever is trying to sneak into my body down here in the Oasis of Freedom and get some beauty sleep while I still can. Are you ready to go to bed? You better not lick my nose. You might get some virus. Bye, guys. All right, little dog, we're going to head to bed.